But with fitness, if you stop the effort, you don't keep the weight off. <laughs> right? It's yeah. not like, oh, I lost weight. Now it's, it's lost for good. I can eat whatever I want now and I'll never gain it back again. No, if you stop no. the effort, you go back to your old habits, your old body, your old, everything goes back to the way it was. That's right. And that's what it was for you. So it was going back to the way it was again. It was. So yeah. you, don't, you just don't need another diet to suffer it out. Mm. You needed to change your systems, your habits, your lifestyle, all exactly. that stuff. Yeah. What's going on there, Total Fitness Bodybuilders? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, and right now I'm hanging out with Jeff Samatero. He is one of my coaching students who's went through the Muscle After 40 Blueprint. Just for full transparency, he's not 40 yet. Right? <laughs> not yet, no. <laughs> he will be, and he's going to be muscular after 40, but the same principles apply. This is so, I should throw this out there, because I do have a program called Muscle After 40, and a lot of people message me say, well, I'm not 40 yet, you know, can I still do it? Or I'm way over 40, like I'm over 50, can I still do it, right? <laughs> it's the same principles. The reason it's called muscle after 40 is because I'm over 40 and it's kind of like how I've transitioned over the years and I'm kind of just sharing my story and what I did. Mm -hmm. But other people can follow in the same footprints and the full same path and still achieve a transformation. And Jeff has done that. So... Let's just talk about you and your transformation for a second. Like that's what I want to do. Like kind of do a bit of a deep dive and unpack it because mm -hmm. we've done Zoom calls together talking about your transformation. Yeah, you know, that's right. But it's kind of cool to be here hanging out in person versus on the other side of the world through a video screen on Zoom, right? That's right. You know, oh yeah. The world has opened up again. People can travel and mingle, and it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers right. crossed that stays. <laughs> yes. So we're actually. This is the first time we we physically met mm -hmm. because we've been like you've been following my stuff for years. Oh, years, yeah. But we've actually working together like one on one online through Zoom and everything else for since 2019. That's right. Yeah. But this is the first time 2022 that we've actually hung out, worked mm -hmm. out, you know, broke bread together, all that cool stuff. Broke, you know, lean, healthy. Bread, <laughs> bread yeah. With, without <laughs> butter and jam on it. <laughs> anyway, so like, let's just talk about your transformation. So, how heavy were you when you started? So, when I started, I was two thirty-five. Two two thirty-five. Two hundred thirty-five okay. pounds. And how did you get to two thirty-five? <laughs> I did not have the a good lifestyle. My yeah. lifestyle was all over the place. It was a lot of. Drinking, it was a lot of partying, it was a lot of eating whatever I wanted to with and no rhyme or reason. What, what do you do for a living? Just for, I know what it is, but for the benefit of our viewers. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a professional musician, so I, I teach drums, I teach music, and then I also, on, on the, the weekends, weekends. <laughs> right, I'm out playing with my band, right, and uh, we play all year long, and mm -hmm. it's a lot of late nights. It's a lot of uh, temptation with alcohol and food and all kinds of stuff. And you didn't give in to any alcohol or food. Never. No. No, never. Never. I was always a good boy. Yeah, never. <laughs> so the, is that part of the reason how you gained to be oh, 235? Okay. Oh, yeah. So certainly. the weekends, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Because this is a common thing as well. Like, I know a lot of people who's like, they can stick to a decent routine Monday to Friday, but then come mm -hmm. the weekend, it's like... All hell breaks loose. That's right. You know? yeah. yeah. That's yeah. when they go out to eat. That's when they go out to drink. Or, you know, that's when the, the standards lower. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. that's a big one for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So two thirty five. Like, what happened then? Well, I just I hit a point where I remember actually that we I was out. Uh, I was seeing a friend's band of mine, yeah. and mm -hmm. my wife had taken a picture of me with the drummer in the band. Yeah. And we got back to the table, and I was like, "Oh, let me see the picture." And I looked at the picture, and I was just horrified with how Ouch. I looked in the picture. It was such a wake-up call because you don't really realize that you're mm -hmm. gaining that kind of weight, right? I'm sure right. you're not paying attention. And then when you see that picture and you can see you're, you're bloated and you're heavy and your shirt and, and everything's mm -hmm. just like, it, it was just a huge wake-up call for me. And I was so embarrassed yep. at that moment. I just wanted to go home. Like I, I was like, <laughs> I was like the night's over. Like I, I just want to go home and, and just, and don't, 
<laughs> like I need to, I need to do something. You're even smiling in the picture. I know. I was even because <laughs> I know that I know the picture you're talking about. I'll put yeah. it up on screen here. I mean, like you're 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 smiling in the picture, but when you see it afterwards, it's like, oh shit, I'm not smiling now. I was, right, right. When I got back to the table, I wasn't smiling. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no. I I can relate to that because one of my before pictures, the fattest ones I got, I was laughing and smiling and. Then when I see it after, it's like, oh, boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a wake-up call, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But in a much-needed yeah. one, though. Right, right? gotcha. So, so um, what did you do? Like, what was the first action steps you took when you decided, okay, I wake-up call, something needs to change, mm -hmm. no more, got to, you know, I've got to change. Well, well, I had never done any kind of dieting or really paid attention mm -hmm. to food and nutrition or anything like that in my entire life. I'd never worked out. I had yeah. never done any type of exercise or anything like that, so... The first thing I did was uh, my wife came home from work one day and she said, hey, I got a friend at work and they've been doing the keto diet and they've lost some weight yeah. and everything, so why don't we give this a shot? And she right. told me, she's like, oh, you get to eat bacon, you get to eat butter. What a lovely to, diet. And all this and everything. And I was like, I'm in. I like those things, right? I, I like yeah. bacon. I like butter. I like sounds, butter. sounds like a yeah. diet for me. Whoa. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. So, so we did the keto diet for a little while and I lost some weight. I, yeah, I lost, I think, about 30 pounds or something okay. like that. Yeah, so I did lose a significant amount of weight, I yeah. think, right? Mm -hmm. But then the second I got off the keto diet, because I hated it, I hated the you, keto you diet. You hated eating bacon and butter. Well, it's... <laughs> it's it's I, not I come, all bacon and butter. I come from an Italian family growing up on pasta and breads and all the kinds of things right. like that, right? So, like, I hadn't had bread and pasta. I was very strict with the diets. So I had that in, like, a year, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. so I couldn't wait to get off this diet. I couldn't wait. Right. Like, it was... And I, and I knew. I was like, I was like, I'm sticking to this for a year. And once the year is over, I'm getting off this diet, right? So there was the deadline, right? That, just, the deadline. that, that shows me your definition or your dedication and willpower, like... You stuck to it for a full year. Full year, yeah. Most people yeah. can't stick to a diet for a full week. Like full, mm -hmm. full transparency. And I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this. Like, yeah, I haven't stuck to a diet for a week. Or if you do, maybe it's a couple weeks, or maybe a couple months if you're really hardcore or something like that. But a year, a year, a year. Full a year. year. Yeah, yeah. So like, did you have cheat meals or carbs within there, or was it pretty strict most of oh, the time? Oh yeah, no, I would have the cheat meals. Oh, you would still have cheat oh, meals. Oh yeah, yeah. And but then, you kept going back to keto on right. and off for a year. It was that typical like. <laughs> Monday through Saturday, got okay. strict with the diet, right. and then Sunday, gloves are coming off. Okay, so you had a, ch a, a curb cheat on the weekends. It was a, it was supposed to be a cheat meal turned into a cheat day. Right. <laughs> Almost every single weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Right on. Mm -hmm. I actually made videos about cheats and cheat days. Like I'll post them in the description below, but we're going to stick to this topic here mm -hmm. now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... You, you did that for a year, then what? Like, did you regain any of the weight after? You know, oh, almost eat? immediately. You just yeah. rebound. Yeah, oh, I, re I rebounded. Yeah, yeah. I didn't gain back all of the thirty pounds, uh, but I did gain back a significant amount of the weight, like maybe fifteen, twenty pounds somewhere around there. And I could tell that I was going in the wrong direction again. Right. Right. So what was good is that I was aware now. Right. I was aware yeah. of my weight, paying attention to that to those things, but. Mm -hmm. I still, like, I, now the, the, the diet was over, I knew I didn't want to go back to the diet, and I didn't know another way. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I can relate to where you're coming from with that from a different perspective. Like, in my case, former competitive bodybuilder, I mean, I used to go on various low-carb diets getting ready for a competition, and, like, I would suffer it out. That was the mindset. Like, I'm going to suffer this out, right? I'm going to go on whatever, cut cut the carbs, I'm going to go chicken and broccoli, mm -hmm. two hours of cardio a day, weight training in the gym, like just burn the candle at both ends and just suffer it out and grit my teeth, mm -hmm. get in shape. And that works. Don't get me wrong. You will get in absolute crazy shape if you have the dedication, the willpower, and you suffer it out. Mm -hmm. But who enjoys suffering it out? Nobody. Like You can't suffer your way to success long term. You can suffer your way to success in the short term. Oh, right? Like. A lot of people do that. I mean, I'll give you another example. Like, think of people who, who, who even go through university or college and stuff like that. People suffer it out. Like, they'll cram for their exams and they'll study and they'll do everything to get their their degree. But then once they graduate from university or college, or they don't read a book <laughs> and they don't continue their education. Like, it just stops. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, in something like that, it, even if you stop the effort, you still keep your degree. You still got those letters behind your name. They're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. But with fitness, if you stop the effort, you don't keep the weight off. 
<laughs> right? It's yeah. not like, oh, I lost the weight. Now it's, it's lost for good. I can eat whatever I want now and I'll never gain it back again. No, if you stop no. the effort, you go back to your old habits, your old body, your old, everything goes back to the way it was. That's right. And that's what it was for you. So it was going back to the way it was again. It was. So yeah. you, don't, you just don't need another diet to suffer it out. Mm. You needed to change your systems, your habits, your lifestyle, like, exactly. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. just what did you do from there? Well, it made me take a deeper look into <laughs> not just like the diet part mm -hmm. of it, right? But who I was fundamentally as a person. Okay. Right? Like, what were my values? What, who did I want to become? Right. right? Not yep. just like what did I want to look like? So, and then I had that revelation. It's, it's really not about losing the weight. Like it, it is and it's about... You know, losing the weight, building the muscle, all that stuff is great, mm -hmm. but really the real reward at the end of it, right, is who you become, right? And that's who I had to focus on, right? It was changing who I was, right? What did I want to become? Okay, right? yeah. And once I changed that mindset, right, mm -hmm. and I started to think, okay, what does a fit, healthy person, what does that all look like, right? Then yeah. my focus started changing, right? And then all I needed was somebody to tell me, Right or show me what that looks like, and that's when I called you, and you were able to show me what that right. lifestyle looks like. And God. essentially, what I did was I I modeled my daily life, my daily nutrition, my habits over your habits. Right. And basically, I just pulled back the curtain and said, like, this is how you do it. Right. Exactly. And, and yeah. the cool thing is, is you were very open and receptive. You were like a sponge. You just soaked it all in. Oh and yeah. Then and then mm -hmm. you, you followed the instructions. Right, exactly, right. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, if there was a lot of questions along the way, but they were, mm -hmm. there were like clarification questions, and like, am I doing this right, you know, mm -hmm. is, should I do this or should I do that, and you want a lot of clarification, but it was never, I can't do this. No. That, that was one thing I noticed yeah. from you, right, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody here, but there's a lot of people out there like, I can't do this because of X excuse, right? right? Like, mm -hmm. in, in, insert whatever excuse it is. Mm -hmm. Busy, work, pandemic, whatever, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like, right, right. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they know what to do, mm -hmm. but they're not doing what they know. Right, Like, right. Th that's yeah. just the common thing, oh, I know what to do. Mm -hmm. Well, are you doing what you know? <laughs> right, if you're not doing it, you don't truly know it. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to intellectually know it, but it's something else to know it internally, live it and apply it. Right. Like, like I can, the prime example here, you're a drummer. Mm -hmm. I can say, I know how to play the drums. I just sit at a drum seat and take these sticks and bang these drums. I know how to play the drums. <laughs> like, like, I do. I know how to play them, right? But do you really know how to play the drums? I've seen you play the drums. You don't know how I don't, to play I the don't drums. know shit about the drums, right? <laughs> so he's seen me play the drums. I don't know shit about playing the drums. And that's the way fitness and nutrition is. Like a lot of people say, oh, I know what to do. I just need to eat right and exercise. That's like me saying, I know how to play the drums, I just need to sit down and bang the, these sticks on these drums. Mm, right, yeah. Like, yep. there's so much more. Like, okay, eat right and exercise, duh, no shit, Sherlock, right? Of course, it's eat right and exercise, but mm. there's, like, how do you apply that to actually have a system that works and is sustainable and enjoyable and gives you the results long term? It's just like me banging those drums. Like, how do I actually do that in such a way that it makes music instead of noise? Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, exactly. Right? And, that, and that comes with continue, like you said, continuing education, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Just like the person who finishes university and they stop learning after that, like there is no end to the learning, right? right. You have to be receptive to new ideas, new information, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you need to implement those in, into your life or try to, right? Do the best you can. Yeah. Try to slowly progress into it as much as you can. It didn't happen overnight. It was something that took time. Yeah. But the, the big thing was that I never gave up on it. And how did you shortcut the time as well? <laughs> Having a coach. Having a coach. Having a coach, yeah, right. Having that, right? And, and what about like even in using some parallels to like the drumming and the music, like do you have music coaches? I'm, I do. I would assume you did. I have. And, and do you still have a music coach? Oh yeah, I've, I've, I've been playing the drums now for 22 years. 22 I've, years, okay. I've, I've had countless two, amounts. Two, two, 22. <laughs> yeah, count, countless amounts of instructors in my life. Yeah. I studied at the collegiate level, okay. and, and I still have a teacher, and I still have a mentor, right? Because I'm a at, After 22 years, you still have a music teacher. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And I don't see a time in my life when I won't. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, I get so much value out of it, and, yeah. and I always learn something new. It opens my eyes to new ideas, things that I didn't know were possible, mm -hmm. and that type of information is absolutely priceless. 
So I respect that the openness to ongoing, never-ending learning, mm -hmm. you know, and, and learning the shortcuts. Because instead of you trying to reinvent the wheel, you find someone who's been there, done that, has done it themselves, and has helped other people do it. Yeah. Well, maybe they can help me do it as well. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just yeah. take that risk. You know, mm -hmm. take take a chance. Well, hey, he did it. He helped other people do it. Maybe he can help me do it as well. Like there's right. a possibility out there. Like maybe if I follow what he's doing, I can probably do it myself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what you did. And of course, the results kind of speak for themselves. Here we are. You know, what within the first year? Mm -hmm. I mean, you really made an amazing transformation. Yeah. Like got visible abdominal definition. Like, do you remember the exact numbers off the top of your head? Of how much weight I lost? Yeah. You because you went, you went from two thirty five, and you were bouncing back and forth. After that, like yep. a bit of yo-yoing, mm -hmm. yep. but then like, after the first year when you came on board with, with our coaching program. Mm -hmm. you... I got down to 165 was my absolute leanest. Right. I think it was a little longer than a year to get to that though, wasn't it? It was a little bit longer, but yep. within the year I think I got down to like 175, right. 172, something and then like another, that. Then you kind of took it to the next level and got like super lean after that. Right. Once I had kind of refined the process a mm -hmm. little bit, right, and then I kind of I knew what I had to do, right, I yep. just had to put in that little extra bit of work, a little bit extra cardio, maybe scale back a little right. bit on some extra calories and things yep. like that, I was able to get down to 165. Right. Yeah. And what are you now? Right now I'm about 175, 177, somewhere okay. around there, yes. So, like, the cool thing is, is you found the balance, like, and this is a great example because if, if you want to get super shredded, mm -hmm. like, like, like photo shoot lean or bodybuilding competition lean, it's not fun to get that lean. Unless you're some genetic freak who just doesn't have any excess body fat on your frame. Like, there are a few unicorns out there who can stay shredded year-round yeah. and not feel deprived, but... Most people, especially if you're coming from an overweight background, like mm -hmm. I have, you have, yep. to get ultra single digit body fats, it's going to require some deprivation, some suffering, and you have to be in such a calorie deficit that you actually deplete yourself and your strength and energy is dwindling and you're relying right. on that willpower and that suffer out mentality right. versus mm -hmm. the sustainable, enjoyable mentality. Right. So yeah. like, if you can just add in a few hundred calories, mm -hmm. like scale back the intensity a little bit, you can still maintain a very lean physique, mm -hmm. you know, like I'd say that between 10 to 15 percent body fat, which is by most people's standards, amazing. Mm -hmm. That's take my shirt off at the beach or pool and feel comfortable. Oh, yeah. That, that type of shape. Mm -hmm. And enjoy it without feeling like you're on a diet. And right. that's the whole purpose of this is like, how do you get lean, stay lean and not feel like you're on a freaking diet? Right, right, right. Yeah. And, and my goals have changed since okay. I, I was 165. And at that when I was 165, my goal was I wanted to get as lean as I could. Just I to see to how far you could go with as it. As far as I could. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I wanted the dark lines on the abs and everything. <laughs> yeah. like, right? That's that's what I wanted, right? But yeah. now my goals have switched and I, I'm more focused on performance-based and right. performing in the gym and, and developing more strength. Mm -hmm. And for that, being at a slightly higher body fat percentage is more advantageous. Right. Yes, so absolutely. So as I've changed my goals and, and working with you still, mm -hmm. still getting yep. right, great quality information from you on, on how to achieve that, right? Mm -hmm. I've kind of switched my mindset from, okay, I don't need to be that lean all of the time. I can carry a little bit more to work more towards what I'm trying to achieve now. Right. No, I, I respect that. <laughs> and what, will it, what do you feel has been the biggest benefit of... of working with me and going through the muscle after 40 blueprint and all that like what what's what's the benefit to you like, I, I'm, the reason i'm asking this like is it just the information because you know i can go on youtube and i can get all the information there is like <laughs> this is just one of a gazillion youtube videos right, right, <laughs> you know, or i can go right. on bodybuilding.com or i can go on google and i can type in like how to lose weight right. how to work out right how to count my macros how to whatever right. and there's going to be like a million results Right, but it's not about the it's not about the macros, and it's not about like knowing what type of exercises to do. It's yeah. about having you to bounce ideas off of mm. emotional support for like those days where I don't get the lifts, right? Yeah. I don't reach the goals, right? Things like that. Just having you to, to to be like, hey, am I am I on the right track? Is is I'm, here's what I'm doing. Is this all working? Right? right? Is this going to take me to where I want to go? Mm -hmm. So there's that. There's also the accountability from the other members in the group, right? Because there's so many inspiring people mm -hmm. in that group who who perform and, and work yeah. hard, right? And they are achieving their goals as well. Yeah. So seeing that on a daily basis, right? Waking up 
and getting to the gym and working hard because I know that it's I'm not doing it alone. There's other people out there who are working hard too, and it inspires me to work hard. It inspires me to want to go out right. and try to crush my goals as well. So it's not just about the knowing the macros, the numbers, the workouts, what kind of lifts to do. Right. right? That's that's the basic easy stuff. Anybody knows. Everybody knows that stuff, right? Or could get it very easily if you don't know it. It's a Google search away. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's about having. It's about having someone to 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 lean on, mm. right? During yep. the journey, right? Somebody to to, right. to hold you accountable. Those kinds of sure. things. Those things are are huge. Yeah, I know. I respect you for sharing that. And I mean, seeing you and a lot of the other guys in in our group because we have a private VIP Facebook group, and everybody who's going through you know the whole Muscle After Forty Blueprint program, like we interact, we chat, we share our progress. Like we we have this private accountability group. Where we're in there, and, and it's it's not it's not like a, a, a forcing anybody to do anything or anything like no. that. It's just sharing and encouraging. So like every Monday, it's Man Up Monday. Like, why do you want to focus on improving this week? And everyone mm -hmm. goes in there and shares what they're focusing on this week. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, we had a midweek check in. It's like, where are you at Wednesday? And everyone says like, are you on track to what you want to achieve? What you set up for yourself on Monday? Mm -hmm. And if you're having challenges or struggles or you fell off the rails, and hey, we can strategize and, and work towards it and keep you on track. Or if you are on track, then we can encourage you to keep you on track. Right. And then we got Flex Friday. So, you know, at the end of the week, you know, it's, it's, it's basically like Flex Friday, Finish Line Friday, where you post your results. Hey, did you achieve the goals you set up for yourself on Monday? Uh, if you did, fantastic. We'll applaud you, support you, encourage you, congratulate you. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, then we will offer some support and encouragement and strategy on, okay, what could you do differently next week mm -hmm. to make sure that you do hit those goals, those targets that you set up for yourself? So we'll, we'll really do a deep dive. And of course, it's, it's Flex Friday, so you know, like, right? you know, put it up there, right? Yeah, da -da, <laughs> Flex Friday. <laughs> so if you want to post a progress picture of yourself flexing or whatever, you do it and it's fun and it's a great too because we get to see some, some like week by week by week, we see those Flex Friday pics just getting better and better and better, yeah. leaner and bigger and you know, it's just as cool to see. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that, that really creates some camaraderie and support and brotherhood within the Muscle After 40 Blueprints. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And that's keeping me motivated. Like, I mean, I go in there and I see you guys making progress. I'm like, shit, I gotta keep up. Yeah. <laughs> I can't have you showing me up. Yeah, absolutely. So it keeps me accountable. Mm -hmm. And you, you mentioned like earlier, you gotta, you, after 22 years of being a professional drummer, you mm -hmm. still have a coach. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's myself. Like right now, we're in Nashville, Tennessee, attending a big fitness conference that my coach is putting off. And I've introduced uh, Jeff to my coach. And this past weekend, like we've been just deep diving and learning things at a higher level on how to become better coaches and not only maximize our own progress and become the best version of ourselves, and, but to help inspire other people along the way. Right. And, and one of the things that we really learned this weekend is we want to strive to become somebody that we admire. Like, kind of like look in the mirror and say, like, do I admire the man in the mirror? Mm -hmm. You know, is he a role model to me? Is he inspiring me? Or am I on the track to becoming that person? Right. Because if, if, if the man in the mirror is your role model and he's inspiring you, then he's probably going to help to inspire other people as well. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, it's yep. just like a, you know, an upward spiral. And that was a big key takeaway I got this weekend. And we got pages and pages of notes and strategies and oh, workshops yeah. to, to really focus on working and improving that. But mm -hmm. like even at our level, at my level, like I've been doing this for over 30 years, I'm still getting coached. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Right? Like the best coaches are still getting coached because it's, mm -hmm. it's a never ending process. Once you say, I know it, I got this all figured out, that's like when your progress plateaus. Right. And then eventually starts to go down. Right, right, yeah. Like, imagine you, with drumming, you said, I know everything there is about drumming, and you just quit getting coached. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, that, like you, as soon as you say, I know it all, like, it's just, mm -hmm. progress stops. <laughs> right, you know, and, and another thing is that every time I've, I've done, gone through coaching, made the decision to get a coach or move forward with it, mm -hmm. right? It, there's always that skepticism at the beginning, right? But oh, at, yep. but every time I go through it, right, I come out the other end a completely different person than when I started. Right. And it's huge, right? It's always huge. There's the, the information you get, the, the accountability you get and everything, like that stuff is priceless because it changes who you are fundamentally as a person. It changes how you view things, how you perceive things. Right? How right. do you move forward with things, right? And then your results are going to be 
a, a result of that, right? What you get mm -hmm. out of it is what you're going to put into it, right? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 I think that goes without saying, but it's so true. Like, it's not a, you know, you, just because you have a coach doesn't mean, like, oh, you know, no. you're going to transform. Like, I could show you the way, but I can't do it. Like, I, I can't lift the weights for you. I can't eat the food for you. I can't right, right. do it for you, but I can show you and guide you and... Right. Same with, I guess, drumming. Like, you can't force your students to play or practice. No. Nor can your coach force you to play or practice, but they no. can guide you and share the share the journey with you. Right. And it's a relationship. The, yeah, yeah, for it's, sure. It's a two-part relationship, right? It's like you're 50% mm -hmm. of the equation, I'm the other 50% of the equation. you got to meet you halfway. Exactly. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. I really appreciate you for sharing this. and. Hopefully you get a better understanding of like how the whole process works and the power of it. Because again, I get a lot of people asking like, what do I, why do I need help? Like, why can't I just YouTube it all? Mm. Right? Like, there's no support and accountability and friendship and mentorship and all that through through YouTube. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great stuff on YouTube, and I want you to continue watching, especially this channel. <laughs> right? Keep watching this one. But there's so much more than just a YouTube video, right? Right? Or, or a, a workout PDF for you know, or a book, or, right? Or, you know, there's there's always another level, and mm -hmm. again, having that support and that encouragement and the connection of someone who's been there, done that, did it themselves, helped others do it, and mm -hmm. is helping you do it. Yeah, like that's power. That's power. It really is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, if you would like some help with getting in your best shape, right? If you want to come on board with the Muscle After Forty Blueprint, or you just want to brainstorm and strategize some ideas. Feel free to reach out, like down in the comments, or not in the comments, down in the, the description below this video, I'm gonna put a link there where you can actually book in for a free strategy session call. And you know, we can jump on a Zoom call and just have a, a free chat, you know, discuss you, your situation, your goals, what it is you're trying to achieve. And I'll let you know if I can help you and if I feel like you'll be a good fit to come on board. And if so, then we can talk about it. And if not, whether I, I feel like I can't help you, maybe you got some unique challenges that are beyond my expertise or whatever, then I'll try and point in the right direction to somebody who can. Because I've got a big network of people in the fitness industry, specialists in all kinds of different situations who, who focus on unique situations, like whether it's optimizing gut health, whether it's working around specific injuries or mobility issues or metabolic issues that you're dealing with. or like If it's beyond the normal eat right exercise approach, if you will, like it's beyond the basics and you have some really specific challenging things that you need to deal with, then I can probably refer you to some people who are experts in those specific areas to help you get the results you need. So either way, at the end of your strategy session call, you'll come away with more value, more insights, and knowledge of where do you need to go next in order to take your health and fitness and physique to the next level. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to reach out. Again, I'll have the link and the information below. I'll also have my email down there as well, so if you want to drop me an email and chat that way, we can do that as well. So. Go ahead, do that, and in the meantime, what else can they do? They can smash the thumbs up button. <laughs> you can give this a like, because when you like this video, it helps tell YouTube that, hey, people like it and they should show it to more people. Smash the bell icon so you get notified whenever I add more videos. Subscribe, and stay tuned for my next one coming soon. And myself and Jeff, we're going to be doing some workout videos and some more you know, teaching videos, sharing the journey. So subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Over and out. <laughs>